Gracias. Um, do I keep Dragon's Pack? Dragon's Pack just kind of gets eaten up by the Scion of Ruins, right? It says we can always draw Dragon's Pack maybe with like a Storm Chaser if we need it. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you trying to say, Swamp Wolf? <laughs> Use, say, sue, see, sa, what? Mm, I don't need to taunt it up or anything. Excuses, you just don't want me to beat you again. <laughs> that's true, that's true. You're seeing right through me. I just don't want to be humiliated again, all right? Just leave me alone, all right? <laughs> I'm still emotionally hurt and spiritually hurt from that last game. All right, I think uh, I think maybe a couple more games of this deck and I wanna try a new deck here. I wanna try some new decks today um, to try and practice with some before the season resets. So that way we are prepared to climb with another really cool new deck to Legends tomorrow. Right, I think, yeah, today's the last day of the season, so tomorrow. Um, do I need Haunting Visions to kill anything here? Maybe. What would we get? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, Beaker Lightning. Nope. Totemic Smash kills that. Like a Murloc, maybe. Uh, probably think just Totemic Smash. Well, I'm kind of doubting that. Because this is a Galakrond warrior. Like, I don't know, the past two warriors have been pirate, so it's just been kind of like implanted in my mind that I'm facing pirate. But no, yeah, this is like a tempo Galakrond warrior. So maybe Plague of Murlocs is better. Because they're going to have like, you know, shield the Galakrons. They're going to have uh, maybe like Korkron elites or something. I mean, we have kind of a low curve in hand. So I think I'm okay using my coin here. Yeah, Murlocs could have been nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think I think either one, Totemic Smash or the Murlocs could have been good. Should try the Galakrond or Galalock. Uh, it's really fun and very anti-meta. Beats warriors and rogues on average. Too. And there's a lot of warriors. Holy smokes. Yeah, Warrior, I think, is the most played class right now. Let me take a look at HS Replay. Pretty sure it is. I would be surprised if it is not. Yeah, it's the highest win rate deck right now, Warrior. Do I need to Urshock anything here? I don't think they have that many stuff in their deck that needs to be Urshocked. All right, a lot of their stuff is battle cry effects, not necessarily like death rattles or anything. Listen to chat, you bonehead. <laughs> hey, who you calling bonehead, bonehead? So he is invoked twice, so he could Galakrond us next turn. He has, what, three lackeys in hand? Um, you know what, though? You know what, though? How about if I just drop a Dino Tamer Bran? <laughs> we are Highlander. Bander Smash. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Honestly, I love Vandersmash. He's gotten me so many good things. Like, sometimes he transforms into, like, a 5-5 five, five, uh, Bran, 5-5 five, five Zephyrus, 5-5, five, five, you know, Dragon Queen Alex Terraza, you know? <laughs> yeah, 
And I can actually use all of those legendaries because I am Highlander. So I think like Banner Smosh naturally fits into Highlander decks. I think he's really oh, good. Yeah. He's just very versatile though. You just hold him into your hand whenever you want to use him. And uh, yo, Cali Cakes, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Thank you. Okay. I really do not want to play a bare naked Galakrond again. I do not have to. So let's just drop a CMX. And the next turn I can like clear the board of his Scion of Ruins with this Kronks. All right, so I'm gonna do this play because yeah, he's gonna drop his Scion of Ruin, um, which is gonna kill the King Crush. But next turn, I can drop the Galakrond and these little two twos are gonna clean up his Scion of Ruins. So that's kind of why I opted to do what I did there. Oh, wow, see him at, okay. So yeah, Rush, Wind Fury. Yeah, so he gets to clear my King Crush, but what else does he do? Wait, uh, oh yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> nice. So wait, what did he choose? Divine Shield? Divine Shield and Wind Fury? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to Hex that. Otherwise, wait, no, I have lethal, right? This is 12, 17. This is not lethal yet. Actually, shoot, it's not. Hmm. Okay, I do want to kill the spirit. I'm gonna kill the spirit first and then Hexaruni this guy. Easy peasy. All right, so now all we need to do is just invoke once and then play our Dragon's Pack or Galakrond. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna play the Galakrond to set up for like a Kronk's Lethal or something. But yeah, that, that brand Bender Smosh though, that one is the game. That was insane. <laughs> so you guys, you don't need to play well, you just need to generate cards well. Okay, Deathwing. Full clear, nice, nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's just set up for a Kronk's Lethal here. So we're just gonna Galakrons. <laughs> for another naked Galakrond. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, though, like if I ever have a turn that I can just like, you know, like it, like this turn, if the board is clear, I don't honestly mind just playing a bare naked Galakrond because my hero power is still better than what I had before. So my hero power is great for controlling. Ooh, do we still win? Wow, he got lucky on that one. Holy smokes. What the heck, man? What the heck? Um, like there's no way that I can actually do direct damage to him if I don't draw my Zephyrus, right? Yeah, it's my only direct damage in this deck, so. All right, if I can just do two damage to him. Just two damage to him. I have lethal. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just two damage is all I need. <laughs> it's the simple bare necessities. The simple bare necessities of Galakrond. I'm enjoying this way too much. Rogue just killed his own Zeph. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, with Flick? Okay, yeah. Okay, so he still has one more buffed up card, right? In his hand, he played his buffed up Scion. Um, yeah, so let's do Earthquake. Quake. All right, come on. I just need to do two damage to him. Just two damage. All right, come on. Cure power and hit this. Come on, I know you wanna. I know you wanna. 
Yeah, Hagatha is going to be kind of a dead card in my hands. No, he's going to get the 8-8. Eight, eight. No, no, son of a gun. No, shoot. Is Zephyrus even lethal anymore? I don't think so. Gosh, dang it. All right, so what if I... Hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, fully heal. Buy myself a turn. Let's just Reno Jackson here. Oh man. <laughs> All right, come on, Zephyrus. Come on, Zephy boy. Yeah, now he's way out of lethal range. I was just two damage away this whole time. Come on. Yeah, I would recommend healing, yeah. We well, learned our lesson last time, huh? Okay, so what if I just cronks um, cl clear the board with the lightning storm? I think I do that. All right, we're playing the long game now. We're not close to lethal, so uh, next turn, if I cronks, if so if I cronks lightning storm, I can I, I fully clear. I have a six six on the board. And then next turn, I can Hagatha or I can Walking Fountain. I like that. And he already Galakrond. He only has two cards in hand. He's probably not going to, uh, like, Leroy in a Rage plus Bloodsworn Mercenary us. Wow, that was a that was a pretty good top deck. But uh, we can actually walking fountain this. Uh, we could also hag it though too. Oh, that's so good. Okay, wait. We have duplicates in our deck. Oh wait, no, we just can't play it. Okay. Um, no, let's just uh, walking fountain. I think. Something like this. Like this. And then I kind of want to set up for a Hagatha here. So I might actually trade the 6-6 six, six into here. Otherwise, the 6-6 six, six goes into here, put him down to 11 health. Hmm. We're at 23 health now. So I think we're safe from like an OTK or like Leroy combo. Let's make him do some trading here. So yeah, we're definitely gonna Hagatha this turn. Then we can drop our bomb. Then we can drop our Alec Queen, Dragon Queen Alex Straza. This will give us five health kind of with the armor. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I guess that doesn't even matter if I trade. I just did that just because we could. Okay, so we're at 21 health. He's got three damage on board with his hero parts at six damage on board. Um, Shutterwalk, what kind of battle cries do we have with Shutterwalk? We have the Hagatha, we have the Galakrons, we have Kronks. We have Devoted Maniac, Sludge Slurper. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff with uh, Shutterwalk here. But I think I'm just gonna Dragon Queen. We might be dead next turn. This is four, five, six. You got nine damage for sure. Woo! If he just has one Invoke card, we lose. Let's see what we get here. Maybe we get Nazari. Ooh, Taunt. Hey yo. Hey yo. Um, 
I honestly don't want to overload twice here, so I, I can't play the Squall Hunter. I think this taunt is good enough to kind of protect me here, but I absolutely want to play my Shutter Walk next turn. So I'll probably play the Squall Hunter next turn, and then I'll probably Shutter Walk. So I could zap something if I wanted to. Maybe z just zap that, because we can. All right, here's the comeback, guys. We're gonna get a lot of good battle cries. So we get the Dragon Queen battle cry, the Kronk battle cry. Wow, dang. You get, he's getting some really good top decks. Yes, we're at five. All right, Shutterwalk. Save us, Shutterwalk. Save us. Is there any way we have lethal here? Hold up. Hold the phone. Okay, so if I corrupt Elementalist, uh, I rush into here. I can actually push eight damage. No, I think I have to shudder. Oh shoot, I wanted a Squall Hunter first so I don't um, mill myself. That's all right. <laughs> Getting the King Crush, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go <laughs> let's go <laughs> not even close not even close